All right. Here we go. We got a new projector. E-Moten. E-M-O-T-N. Uh, model number H1. E-Moten H1. 1080p. Full HD. Uh, it's got dual uh, stereo speakers. It's got screen mirroring. Um, just like every projector. It has the... Uh, 2.4, 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. But on top of that, the best feature of all on this projector is it's got its own OS ba based on Android. So what that means is you do not long, you no longer have to um, connect any other devices in order to run this thing. It's fully standalone. So, this is what the box looks like. Uh, let's see if you can see this good. All right, it's half decent. Comes with a remote, HDMI cable, power supply. This time, it, the power supply on this one is a 20 volt, 3.25 amp with a USB C connector. Okay, we'll talk about this later. Here is the box, um, the manual up there, and another cable. So there's a uh, there's a RCA video and audio input cable as well. So let me put that aside. Yeah, here is the projector. So the projector looks uh, very small. Okay, so uh, just to give you a. An idea it's about uh, five inch wide six inch tall and five and a half inch uh, deep got a little stand here so you can set it up on an angle um, it has uh, built-in fans not sure where they are on the side or on the back or wherever but I'll just quickly go through all the things that it does have. So, first of all, this projector has a built-in battery. They say it's going to last about uh, two hours, but I obviously don't believe that. But when you run it on battery, it runs very dim. So what you want to do is you always want to plug it in. But... If you don't want to plug it in, you do want to run it on battery. You can just turn it on. I don't know if this comes charged. Uh, I guess not, but uh, we can discuss about that later. Anyways, um, I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's a focus knob okay, on top. And there's a cool retro layout buttons with a nice uh, click to them. There's a little knob to turn it on and turn up the volume. So this can work as a Bluetooth speaker as well. On the back, we have um, a micro SD input card. Just above that, there's an IR um, receiver for the remote, a headphone jack, audio video input, USB for plugging in your movies on a USB stick and stuff like that, HDMI input, Ethernet input, um, as well as uh, 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 audio, optical audio out. And then you have your uh, USB-C type um, direct current DC input for charging and for uh, playing the projector. So that's basically it. It has a nice leather handle. Okay. You can take it camping, take it outside. You know, uh, it's very light, you know. Uh, for a projector. Um, this is a little LED indicator that, um, that the thing is on or off. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to plug it in and show you how this thing works uh, fresh out of the box. So I removed the, the uh, protective film from the lens. So that's gone. I'm going to kind of set it up here on this background. I'll show you with the camera in a second.
I'm gonna try to do my best to kind of um, set it up uh, so you can see the screen. Of course, that's gonna be a little might be a little bit tricky. I set up the projector far far enough from this uh, you know makeshift screen so that it's sitting on the box, and we're gonna kind of point it upwards a little bit. Okay, and we're just gonna turn it on. Plugged into the wall, turn it on for the first time, and I'm gonna kill the lights here. I don't know if this is gonna even work, but well, let's try it here. Okay, so I'll zoom in on the screen. Try to show you best how this looks. So English, next. Um, I'm going to connect it to my Ethernet here. Okay, so we're connected to my Wi-Fi right now. Uh, yeah, accept the license agreement, accept the privacy that you have none. I'm trying to see if I can focus this a little bit better. And, and here we go. So keep in mind, I have not plugged in any HDMI inputs or any, you know, any uh, player devices, anything like that. This has an OS built in. That's what makes this so great. Because from here, you have your YouTube, you have your uh, Netflix, you, you can have your, um, what else is the Disney. Plus, Amazon, the music players, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, so that's the whole point. Uh, from here, um, you can pick HDMI as an input, of course. So, that's HDMI. You can also mirror your phone. So, if you go to, um, so you have your uh, uh, regular uh, RCA video input cables uh, that you can select from here as well. Um, <laughs> it's got some funky man uh, memory management, actually, uh, uh, overall, um, operating system management functionality where, you know, you can dump some memory to speed it up. Of, of course, you have your weather because it's an Android. Um, then you've got your keys, keystone correction stuff. So you can do, you can do auto correction. Um, I don't know if I recommend the auto correction this time. It kind of worked. That's still a little blurry. Excuse me. I don't know if it's if you can tell, but I'm now I'm turning the focusing knob on top. Okay, that looks pretty sharp to me. So real time correction. That means basically if you toggle this on, it'll uh, just keep correcting when you move the projector. I didn't like that functionality. Uh, and then you can zoom your screen as well. So uh, right now we're probably about. Um, Four, four feet from the projector screen, but um, we can also shrink it down um, quite a bit if you if you just need to display like a small smaller screen. Um, what else? Yeah, so maybe the best thing. Oh, and also it has um, it has the single point correction like. To, um, to you know, set it up like one corner at a time. So right now I'm lifting the left corner, lowering it. Then you can go to the next one, next one, next one until your screen is set up properly. Okay, so now I took some time and downloaded all the apps that I typically use. I, I I'm going to be taking this thing camping most of the time, so I'm not going to have Wi-Fi. But for the, the other times that I do have Wi-Fi um, while traveling and stuff, I have my YouTube, my uh, Netflix. But most of the time, I'm going to be using Kodi because I just put the SD card in the back of this thing with um, all the movies that I, ha that I have. Um, and voila, you can just go through and start playing a movie. Uh, right from the SD card without plugging in any devices or anything like that.
So that's what makes this thing so amazing for me. Um, yeah, because, because I don't need to uh, connect any additional hardware to this projector. It just makes it standalone and it'll even run on battery uh, for a short while. Right now, if I unplug the power cable, I'm going to do, do that right now. You'll, you'll notice the dim, dimming of the screen. So I'm going to unplug it in one, two, three. You see how that screen dimmed a little bit? Um, I didn't let it charge, so right now it's threatening me that it's going to shut down. But uh, yeah, normally uh, you can charge this battery uh, for up to two hours, they claim. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that. So when I, when I disconnect this thing from the wall, it goes into the dim mode, running off of internal battery. But then using my special cable, I can just run it from a PD-capable power bank or uh, you know other devices without using the AC adapter. That's the whole goal. It's to keep it DC so it doesn't go through the AC to DC conversion and stuff like that. It just works wireless wirelessly just like that there you have it guys uh man i mumbled long enough um i hope this explains if not then of course message me and i'll try to um i'll try to explain if you have any questions okay bye